MJ, it's good to see you, brother. Introduce yourself, tell us your new title and your company and what's been going on. Yes, sir. So, um, Meridi Jelani is my name, MJ for short. Um, my new title is uh, Associate um, Cloud Engineering with Pega uh, Systems. So, you you just started this position or are you still tell me I'm, I'm starting monday okay cool yeah i knew that it was like coming up and everything so um well tell me tell me a little bit about it man what are you going to be doing so um i don't know like all the details of what i'm going to be doing but i do know like i'm going to be querying some uh sql uh information and um helping customers to uh, better uh, assist customers with um, this, the uh, software that uh, Pega develops. And then also um, be some AWS uh, like S3 commands that would have to run through the, uh, not through the console, but through the uh, terminal. Okay. So, so needless, to, needless to say, you're a pretty happy guy right now. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, well, tell tell me a little bit about your journey, man. Did you have any tech experience prior to coming to Yellowtail? So, not really. Um, I've always been passionate about um, IT, and um, I I knew um, how to do a lot of things with computers, but not really any tech industry experience. So, I didn't really have a tech job before coming into Yellowtail, and. Uh, came in here you know i was determined so i put all the effort time in i was like i'm 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 here for this career i'm gonna do everything it takes so uh classes are two nights a week but well three nights when you first begin but then i mean i was not just three nights i was on my computer every single yeah. day. and um just well it obviously paid off <laughs> oh yeah definitely and then in in the internship uh, I was still working my um, my job uh, as a um, heat and air conditioning technician, and when I get done, I would get home, get on the computer, and do the uh, those tickets on the internship, like all all the way till about one a.m. And I did it wow. every single day. <laughs> yeah, well, man, I mean, it can't be easy having a full time job and going to school, especially with the rigors of, of what you went through and everything, how, how did you organize yourself? How did you keep track of everything? And, you know, were you able to, um, you know, devise a good system of notes or, you know, tell me, tell me what it took for you. So, yeah, for me, um, I'm kind of different because, uh, I, a lot of people take notes and note taking is really good. I mean, cause I've, I've, um, used notes too before, but, for me, uh, what I did was basically try to absorb that knowledge because in the back of my head was like, I won't get to use these resources when it comes time to take the uh, exam or for the interview. So I need to know it. So I would just, so class ends, I would go on maybe another hour and um, review what we did. And then of course the next day we didn't have class. So once I got home from work, that's what I'd be doing, practicing. And um, so, you know, when I did, I did the, um, for my, for my cohort, I did the, uh, um, the weekend sessions and that helped like for me to solidify my knowledge because I would be having to explain it. So I was like, okay, if, and then I, I'm listening to myself talk. I'm like, oh no, that doesn't sound right. Or yes, so, you <laughs> yeah. know, so, yeah. At, for me, that that was a big um, help because it, that helped me to solidify my knowledge, and then at the same time, make sure that okay, um, continue to add on to it. And, I, I'm so glad you said that, man, because you know a lot of people don't realize, um, you know, helping others. Number one, it's the right thing to do, but you know, subsequently you benefit when you help others because you practice and you get to hear their take on the situation or whatnot. And, um, 
you know, that's something that we we say a lot in interviews uh, to people, you know, go go practice with your friends, you know, hear what they have to say and show them what you know. And yeah, it's just a great, great way to kind of hammer it all home, I think. So one, one question I uh, before I ask you about the apprenticeship, um, I know uh, I'm guessing that your financial status has changed a little bit, huh? um so you know i haven't i haven't technically uh started yet so um but it will, will it it will change <laughs> in the future now um as far as where i was um because I've, I've been doing heating and air for almost a decade you know so okay. i i got a lot of experience and i've gotten you know to a good point as far as financial goes so um i think i'll, I'll get a little bump uh, starting this new job, but within two years, I'll get a, a even bigger bump. Yeah. Excellent. Always like to hear that. Yeah, so that tell me a little bit about the apprenticeship, man. Cause, um, I know you, you were a student that stayed pretty involved, you know, like you were talking about, you know, doing the, uh, the weekend sessions, but you know, also, you know, you were probably a little more active on like the Slack channels and whatnot. I saw you out there, uh, kind of helping other people and everything. What do you think was the the thing that you benefited most from going through the apprenticeship? So the apprenticeship, it was like open your eyes to the real world. Like there's nobody there. There's no class and you're going to be the one you have to go and find the answers and then bang your head all the time and uh, <laughs> find you know you have to do it yourself so um spent countless hours sometimes and then this is this is the whole thing about it sometimes you spend countless of hours doing something that's very simple at the end you're like oh i did all this work you know and all i was missing was one thing so yeah, yeah. but you'll never you'll never miss that again will you yeah, definitely <laughs> not <laughs> Yeah. So, but the, um, the internship, it was, um, like really helped to actually learn more because it's like, okay, in class you learn this and the internship brought like almost a lot more than what you learned in class. It's like, I, we didn't do this in class, but now, yeah, of course you're not, you're not going to see everything you did. So now that means you have to take some of that knowledge and look up some other stuff and try to figure it out on your own. And then if you really got stuck and you couldn't, there was no way out. There was alumni. Like I, I reached out to um, Ralph and he was a really good help. Cause I'm like, Hey, I'm stuck on this ticket. I've been on it for three, four days and um, I gotten this far. And that's the thing you got to put in work because it's, if you didn't do anything and you're like, Hey, uh, I need help. It's like, uh, what did you do? I need to know what you did. So that yeah. way I can help you and see where you are. But, so that's why any anytime somebody asks me about getting into this, I say, hey, you have to want to do it. You know, it's just not it's not like, oh, you did it so I can do it. No, I mean, I wanted to do it. I was determined and I pushed through. But if you're not determined, you're not going to push through, then don't don't even, you know, go for it. Yeah, it's interesting because I, I don't think I've seen anybody ever that wants it bad enough not get it you know what i mean it's like if you have the determination yeah nobody's telling you up front it's going to be easy but um it's going to be a lot of a lot of work but if you want it bad enough you you trust the process and you do the things that you need to do it's going to happen so Definitely. so you got your certification man you're a uh you're an aws devop cloud engineer whatever you want to call it you didn't stop there though man what tell me i know you've been busy afterwards getting a few other certifications and uh what else have you been up to man oh yeah so definitely so when when class ended um right uh when i right before i got into the internship i i looked at linkedin i i, I had linkedin already so i i would just look at it and i looked i was like okay people have way more than one certification so it's like so much competition i'm like this one certification it's it's not gonna put me out there on the front line so 
what I did is okay, uh, sysops ad, uh, administrator for AWS. That was the required certification for Yellowtail. So from the but so much knowledge comes out for that uh, course or uh, studying for that certification that I went and I did the solutions architect um, certification without too much more to study. I actually got that um, certification before I entered the internship. So um, got this. I was happy I got it before the internship because I, I would have been thinking at the back of my head like now, OK, I have to do this cert certification and I have to do the internship. It had been so much, but I did that. And then the, the developer, I spent about another maybe three, three weeks to a month. I studied a little bit on it and got that. And I was like, OK, now I got all three of them, the associate level. I can relax a little bit. And then I look it's like, oh, not really. <laughs> Still got a lot of competition. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So then I went and um, just to solidify my cloud knowledge, I um, got the um, not uh, AZ 900 Microsoft Azure. And um, that was really easy. I mean, I think I spent maybe three days on it. Really? And, but but that's that's only because of all of the cloud knowledge that I already took from right right the course so and then um after that i was like you know what there's one certification that's really helpful on your resume which is that linux uh, administrator and um i signed up for it so while i was doing the linux certification prep um and i was still job hunting at the same time and um the job hunt is not <laughs> easy at all i mean i think <laughs> i put in so many applications as soon as i was ready Again again though if you want it bad enough you persevered man you stayed with it you didn't let it get you down when things weren't going your way and um and here you are yeah definitely i mean um what i was almost ready to just stop with the all of the applications because i was like okay it's kind of putting me behind on uh getting ready for the linux um certification because I, I was like, okay, you know what? If I get that, it'll help me even more. But luckily <laughs> the job came right there before. Uh, I like, I mean, this job came at the end where I said, you know, I'm going to stop putting in applications and it came. So I was like, okay, awesome. Now I can, I don't have to worry about, cause that took, that took a good amount of time too. You know, you, you have to, um, put in the application, the, do the follow up, do the, um, uh send the the your cover letter and it, it, it takes time it's not just yeah. like i'll put in the application done you know it, 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 yeah i mean but yeah it, it you know <clears throat> it is what it is and it, it's interesting like nobody really enjoys doing a job search but at the same time if you really look at it man you get to meet some pretty cool people along the way while you're doing that and hopefully you you know you you build your network along the way as well yeah, and that. um it, you know i think that's pretty cool though that we say all the time you know you got to be a uh if you're going to be an it you got to be a full-time student for the rest of your life mm -hmm. and um you're you know with the way technology changes and all the different technologies that are out there it's setting you up to have all this knowledge so that there's so many more paths that you can go down now. Have you thought yet much about like, where's MJ five years from now? Oh yeah, definitely. So, um, uh, within two to three years, um, I want to have my professional certification, which is the AWS, uh, which is the DevOps and solutions architect. If I get those two and then, um, further along, I want to maybe uh dive deeper into devops or go into solutions architect one of those two paths okay. uh, i know like I, right now after i get my linux certifications i want to go into terraform get that and then kubernetes so the when you have uh, knowledge on docker terraform kubernetes i mean you can go anywhere with those yeah. and then at the same time the the biggest thing is uh security and uh networking and uh, when i say networking i'm in it not like uh, right right 
network. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know those two things, uh, they help they help you tremendously. And um uh when we started at Yellowtail, the there was uh IT fundamentals and networking. And that was um at at that time that was so much to grasp because it was new information. But once you um you go along things start to like settle in you're like oh that makes sense now that makes sense so you have to give yourself time to also say okay this knowledge is gonna come i just need to keep keep at it because it's like yeah. some some days like i feel like i'm not learning anything <laughs> you know there's so much knowledge coming but then you're like oh Oh, I do know this. <laughs> I, you know, I take a test like, okay, I, I do know it. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, again, you know, the, the perseverance and the determination, um, they say, you know, you, you <clears throat> excuse me, you should never quit because you don't know how close you were to crossing the finish line. You know, it's like it, it could, you know, you might have decided to quit. And then that very next day, that call didn't come, you know so i i applaud you for that and i applaud you for um you know not only for all that you've done for the for the community and your cohort and stuff like that but your continued education and uh know that we here at yellowtail are always here to help you in any way that we can um you know we we try not to uh we're we're not gonna say you know don't let the whore, the door hit you in the butt on the way out you know it's like no nah, man we uh we we appreciate seeing what you're doing and we want to be there to support you and everything so um man one final question for those that are interested in a career in it but are kind of hemming and hawing a little bit and uh you know wondering if they should do it or not what advice do you have for those people i would always say so look into it you know see if it's something that you like and it, if it intrigues your interest, then yeah, go for it because there's a lot of reward. And um, like right now, my uh, position that I start is fully remote. So I'm going to be working from home, you know, uh, don't have to deal with uh, the commute. Yeah. And yeah, so if you if you really want to get into it, take take the chance and don't wait, because um, that was another thing, too, for me um i was like i i felt ready i was like you know what this is the time i'm gonna do it i remember my wife saying like well financially it would be better if we do it next year and i was like well yeah but that'll just be a year that i'll be behind whereas if i do it now i can be into it and then you get get financially better after that year so it's like yeah I, I like that man once you start making excuses it's kind of like uh it, it reminds me of uh you know people uh that are starting families and everything you know should we have a kid and it's kind of like well we're not quite ready for it let's do it next year next year all this new stuff starts happening well we're not quite ready just do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep because if you don't do it then you're like dang i, sh I wish i would have done it so long ago because that that's um that was my first thought when i first got it back into it i was like wish i would have done this so much longer ago because it was my passion all along and um since i took 10 years doing something else i could have been 10 years i was doing this so yeah. but you know hindsight is 2020 dude you did it yeah definitely 